Hi everyone, Manuela Marcajani from Eisenmer Skin Care. Welcome to our channel, the channel where we discuss everything skin, manufacturing, ingredients, formulation. Today, we're gonna talk about um, face oils or skin oils. Do you need them? What do I think about them? Which ones are good or bad? So, I always have had oily skin and problematic skin. So naturally, I'm like, e anything oily or greasy, I'm like, no, 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 I don't want it on my skin. But the reality is your skin needs to have some fats, it needs to have some oils. The function of a fat or an oil is to reinforce your skin barrier, to reduce transepidermal water loss. So in essence, the fats or the oils on your skin are there to keep your skin hydrated. So when you think about a Ziploc bag or a Tupperware or some kind of container and you put a lid on or you, you, know, you wrap something in plastic, your sandwich you know, in plastic, the reason why you do that is to keep it fresh, right? So our skin, if we didn't have oils or lipids naturally in our skin, our skin wouldn't stay fresh because that's kind of like the protector, that protector, that's the seal for our skin. So when you're using a face oil, or you're using an oil on your skin, it's the right idea in a lot of ways because you do need lipids, fats on our skin surface to coat it, to seal it, to moisturize it, to hold in the moisture, to protect it from the environment, right? But what gets interesting about the oils is their molecular size and their origin. So it's not that it's a bad thing to put skin oils on, some of them are very good, but some of them are very bad. And a lot of times we like something because it smells great. Um, we like it because it's pretty, but it could not be that good for our skin. So the skin oils I like, like if you can make a blend, try to use skin oils with low molecular weight, okay? Don't go for ones with high molecular weight. And you're gonna say, but how do I know? Well, I'll give you a list of ones with lower molecular weight, that are very skin friendly and really something that you can consider. Also, don't go for very fragrant or essential oils. Essential oils can be really, really good and really, really bad. Essential oils are highly, highly effective. They, they transport through the system, through the barrier very easily, very quickly. So if you're using too much or if you're using the wrong type, you can really intoxicate, if you will. I can't think of a better word right now, but you can actually cause a little, uh, a lot of damage or irritation or reaction. So I'm always really, really leery of essential oils. I stay away from them a lot in formulation because we have to formulate universally. We have to formulate for skin types and keep skin safe and sound. So we've, I've built in all these kind of cautions in how I think about formulation and when I think about universally for people. So as a general rule, try, you know, especially if you're Doing something at home, a lot of people like to do their at home routines and they go buy, you know, absolutes of oils, essential oils. That actually, you may think, well, it's so small, I'm only using, you know, a little bit. Use it very sparingly, do a little bit of a patch test on your arm, wait 20, 15, 20 minutes to see how your skin reacts and never use it straight, dilute it. And you'll dilute it with either grapeseed oil, that's a really good oil. So grapeseed is funny because grapeseed is an oil that I would never ingest. It's really not a good oil to eat, but on top of your skin, it's a really good oil. So we formulate a lot with grapeseed oil. We formulate a lot with jojoba oil, which is another good oil for your skin. So if you want to use uh, grapeseed, jojoba, prickly pear. I love prickly pear. Prickly pear is really good too because not only does it help as a face oil, it's got a lot of vitamin K in there. That's really good for the redness and the broken capillaries. Um, it has a lot of antioxidant power to it. And then sunflower oil. I like those oils. I also like ginger oil or moringa oil, camellia oil. Those are more exotic oils. They're more expensive oils. You don't have to go down that route. Um, you can stick to these regular oils. They're gonna give you that skin barrier function. Um, a lot of people want to use coconut oil or you want to use um, vitamin E. Those are not that great. Oh, oh, let me let me preface this. Coconut oil isn't good just for your skin like to use a lot because it actually does kind of thin out your skin. It doesn't really moisturize the way you think it is. It's, it's great for massage, for example, but it wouldn't be that face oil that I would use all the time and it can be comedogenic for a lot of people. 
so can um, uh, coconut oil, so can vitamin E. Vitamin E is great. We formulate with vitamin E, antioxidant. We use it with our vitamin C serums. We use it with a lot of formulations because it is a powerful antioxidant but you can only use it, the D-alpha tocopherol version. You have to know the isomer, the, the, the shape of that molecule, and you can only use a little teeny bit because otherwise it's going to be way too heavy. You're gonna be dragging your skin, so you want lightweight oils. Um, so in essence, the long and the short, face oils can be very good, especially for massaging your skin for hydrating and doing a little bit of a treatment on yourself, a little bit of lymphatic drainage. In the winter time, as a bit of extra barrier boost, your oil should be the last thing that you put on. For example, you put your serums on, then you put your oil on, okay, because it should be the heavier part of your routine. And you shouldn't be using oils that are very active, like I said, large molecule oils or a lot of essential oils. But you can have fun with oils because it can make your beauty routine really great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a uh, little insight into the oils and face oils. Um, I like using face oils, especially for the massage. And you know, I think I will do have another video. Um, if you'd like, let us know, comments below, what type of massages, face massages you'd like to see, and we'll follow up utilizing some of these face oils. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.